How do we find our overnight pub stops? Well, we use the Brit Stop book, which is a subscription you pay every year and they send you an updated book. Or we use Search for Sites, that's an app that you can get for your phone. And also Park for Night, which is also an app that you get for your phone. We also use Google. If you use Google Maps, you can see the pubs and you just give them a ring and ask them if they will let you park up if you're coming for a meal or a drink. This was our first pub stop of the week. It's the Old Checkers. It's a warm and friendly pub situated on the bank of the river in the village of Croft, five miles from Skegness. It is a listed building and believed to be the oldest inn in Lincolnshire. Surrounded by open countryside, this is truly a country inn well worth a visit. We went into the pub for an evening meal and look, we didn't have that far to walk home because just around the corner, a little bit more, just a little bit more, and there was Bertie. It was a very quick walk home. Our next stop was going to be at Skegness in the Welcome Inn. The Welcome Inn sits beside the main road, but there's a big lawn, so you don't hear much noise. And right in front of the pub, you'll see there are all those tables and chairs. This is where we park Bertie. There's plenty of space for other motorhomes. We were the only one there this night. And as you can see, we didn't have that far to walk home. That night, we booked a table in the restaurant. What a great menu it had. Nanny had look sausages, mashed potato and peas. And I had some gammon, egg and chips. And whose hand is that pinching my chips? The following morning before we left the welcome in, I thought I'd just take you for a quick walk around. As you can see, plenty of places to sit outside. And as we walk down towards the grass, you'll see they've built plenty of little cabins. These cabins are designed to take eight people. They are fitted out with power, somewhere to charge your laptop and somewhere to charge your phone. In the centre of the grass there, they have a covered over area for local bands to play or for the DJ to set up his equipment. Our last stop on this adventure was the Swan. The Swan is part of the Vintage Inns family group and it's just outside Lincoln. We stopped here because we were meeting some friends for Sunday lunch and we were able to park Bertie. We had an excellent Sunday lunch and Nanny had a lovely roast with lashings of gravy. And we had chatted with Richard and Andrea, who we haven't seen for many, many years. Had a fabulous afternoon. They went home, and then we walked back to Bertie. We stayed that evening, got ourselves all set for another adventure as we left on Monday morning. It's goodbye from Nanny, Grandpa and Bertie, and we'll see you again on another adventure when we set off for somewhere different.